Hey everybody, it's Tiffany. Welcome to episode 18 of Journey to 2020, A Sims Decades Challenge. The objective of the Decades Challenge is to live as historically as possible from the year 1890 to the year 2020. Each decade has a number of rules to follow and I'll fill you in on those as needed, but for a complete list, I've included a link below. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Well, we've got a lot to do guys, so let's get started. guys here we are back in Hinford on Bagley go back into the house so many really exciting things coming up guys all right here we are back in the house I think everyone's just gonna be like probably getting back into bed except for Flo here because Alma is very unhappy uh, let's see it is in like early in the morning and everyone's like awake because i just restarted the game so i'm gonna go ahead and send everyone back to up oh, joe go lay down i didn't tell you to do that we got this baby crying here Flo, come on get with it all right alma all right i get it i do okay good here we go it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay, I promise. Let's just go ahead and feed her. Uh -huh. Huh, baby? Uh -huh. There we go. You feed her. Uh -huh. Feed the baby, little Alma. Oh, Flo is so very tired. There we go. No, Flo, go ahead and go back to sleep, honey. You deserve it. All right, everyone's asleep. Very exciting. And they're all staying asleep until morning. Okay, so I do wanna go ahead and start getting the girls up. I never get them ready in time. Although they are looking pretty good. So Josephine, you can wake up too. And then do we have, get leftovers. I don't know what's in there, but we will see. That's great. She's like, oh, it's early and it's raining. You know what? You know what you could do? Can you clean this? No, you can't. Dang, that is really gross. We need these girls to age up so we can uh, <laughs> start getting them to do different chores because Flo is not going to be able to take care of anything once that n fifth baby comes. Come eat with your sister. Oh, Joe's awake. Oh, does Joe have to work today? I didn't even look. I probably should have gotten him up as well. He does. Okay. So Joe, let's go ahead and just take a bath and then you can come down and we have leftovers for you as well. There we go. You go and get leftovers too. Let's see. Talk about school with your sister. Oh. She's like, I'm going to go ahead and clean this up. Just kidding. That's fine. All right, then you can come up and change into your everyday. And little miss, you should probably clean that up too. Oh, wow. Ethel was like, no, 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 I got it. It's okay. <laughs> Ethel's like daughter of the year, I'm telling you. All right. She is. She's like, I'm gonna be the best. Oh, I forgot we have a cow. Slightly dirty, but at least she's full. That's great. All right, Ethel's gonna go change. Okay, how about you come and play? Oh, no. Time to go to school. I was gonna say you could play in the rain now, but... Joe, yep, we're going to work. It's gonna be a blast. Goes Josephine. And Ethel. All right, Josephine. I want you to make friends today at school, and Ethel, I'm gonna have her do the same. Bye, Ethel. Have a great day, honey. Oh, Joe, he's like nice, peace, and quiet. Getting all ready for work. He's like, oh man, enjoy the peace and quiet, cause like all these girls uh, uh, are crazy <laughs> surrounding me. Being very loud, crying all the time. I know, Joe. 
No, nope, don't clean that up. You wouldn't do that. So Joe's gonna leave for work soon, but we have plans to evolve, I believe. Yeah, let's do that. Let's evolve before he has to run off. Evolve, evolve, evolve. Great, let's see. Are we getting any excellent plans yet? No, we'll get there. Oh my gosh, so many. <gasps> evolve, evolve. Oh, okay, now Joe's gone. Great. Oh, baby's awake. We're coming. We're coming. We're coming. We're coming. Okay. 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 Change the diaper. Yes, I know, Alma. Guys, guess what? Okay. We have so many exciting things happening. Mainly, we've got a bunch of birthdays to uh, take care of. Oh, Josephine started a food fight in the cafeteria. It sounds like something she'd do. Causing most of the students to join in, we're still cleaning up. What a natural leader, probably not something they would say. She should help clean. Unacceptable, punish them. I'm gonna say she should help clean. She did the mess, she needs to clean it up. I like that. All right, so what I was saying, birthdays today very exciting we have two birthdays now this is probably oh my gosh a teacher caught ethel looking at another student's test during class <gasps> and sent her to the office <sighs> she should fail the test right let her retake the test that probably wouldn't happen she should fail the test you're a bad girl you should not be looking at other people's papers can just like one second can i get like one second of time here okay Go ahead and make fruit and yogurt parfaits for everybody. We're gonna make like a big old thing of it. Oh, we got bills. Guys, so many things happening. Okay, since we have six people in the family now, birthdays, 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 birthdays. We're gonna have them coming up all crazy. Today, we have two birthdays. We have Joe. Joe is aging up into a full-blown adult now. And Alma's gonna be aging up into a toddler, which I'm very excited about because she's been crying like crazy too. Okay, this time we cannot forget to pay the bills. It's yet another thing we gotta do. Gertrude is still sleeping. I'm very excited about that. So maybe she'll sleep until Flo can actually eat and, and have some fun. Look at this, she needs, she needs fun in her life. Let's see. She's like, I'm enjoying the peace and quiet. That baby is never quiet. All right, go ahead and clean all that up. And then you can put that away. Ugh. Let's see. Oh, it's for Joseph this time. Okay, I'm like, those kids are getting in trouble again. Are you kidding me? Okay, it is Joseph's turn to feed and milk the work lab's resident cow plant, bovine. Bovine. We still have to name our cow. Okay, a craftier than average specimen. How will Joseph approach this always tricky task? offer the nutritional approved dosage of cake or attempt to reason with it using science um hmm let's see offer the nutritionally approved dosage of cake i i think that we should do that i think we should just feed it what it needs okay what we got joseph decided to offer Bo some cake because everyone loves cake bovine had other plans while joseph was offering the cake the cow plant used its tail to distract him joseph looked away for just a second and when he turned around the cake in his hands was replaced with bovine's cake tongue in one swift motion joseph was eaten drained and spit out eaten drained and spit out what does that mean Ugh. Okay, and the baby's crying. And oh, oh, oh gosh. Okay, all right. <laughs> Gertrude's running away, all dirty and stuff. All right, come and feed the baby, and then coo at her, and then cuddle with her. Gertrude needs a bath. What, Gertrude? Why don't you come in here and wait for mommy? I hope Joseph's okay. He was eaten, drained, and spit out. I don't know what that means, but I hope he's okay. There we go, Alma. So after Flo's done with that, she's going to put on one of her outfits. Let's do this one with the big old hat. We like that. And then she needs to go to the bathroom. All right, Gertrude, while you're waiting for mom, can you go to the bathroom on your own yet? No, you can't. Ugh. All right, we have so many things we need to be doing, Gertrude. Why don't you play with your toy first? My mom is taking care of Alma. Here we go. I'm really looking forward to Alma aging up because she is a crier. And then we're going to potty train Gertrude. Here we go, look at her. 
lover like Jaunty had. It's great. All right, Gertrude, you ready for potty training? So gross and dirty. Yeah, you wanna go to the potty? Get you potty trained, little girl, let's do it. Potty level two. She can now use the potty chair herself. Can we stop that so Flo can clean this toilet while Gertrude is going to the bathroom? That would be great because that thing is gross. Oh. It's gross. I need to get rid of these bugs by the toilet. That's grossing me out. Good job, little girl. Okay, Flo, after you're done with that, you're going to give Gertrude a bath. Don't be sad. Mom is going to give you a bath. Then you won't be so stinky. And then you can play with your blocks, I promise. Oh no, then you gotta eat. It's one thing after another. Josephine has met Julia while at school. Good, she's making new friends. Oh, and Ethel met Olivia. Ethel also met May Mayra. Myra. It's fun, they're meeting friends. We gotta invite some over. Felicia would like to come over and hang out. Honey, you obviously can come over and hang out anytime. We have to make a cake today for Joe's birthday because you know what, we can finally do that. We don't have to go to Mama Ida's bakery anymore. Although we still can if we want to, but I think Flo is gonna make her first birthday cake. So that'll be fun if we ever get around to it, you know? Yeah, it's a dirty girl. No, my kids are gonna be home from school soon. Oh, hi! Hey, girl! Oh, Felicia, you are the best, dude. Thank you for helping. All right, we need to pick up this little girl. Put her down there. Josephine has met Ethan at school, meeting so many people. That's great. Should Josephine invite over classmate Ethan? Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Okay, give food to Gertrude. Let's give her some peas. It'll be great. The girls are home. This is Ethan. Hi, Ethan. Scoff at discomfort. No, don't do that. It's Ethel that brought him home, right? I'm like so lost right now. Yeah, yeah. No, Josephine met Ethan at school. Oops, okay. Tell make believe story. There we go, great. Oh, Flo hasn't even eaten. <laughs> Get leftovers. There we go. Oh, and the baby's crying. Lord have mercy. <sighs> Ooh. Okay, Flo's never, ever, ever going to be able to make a cake in these conditions, I'm telling you. All right, Flo, I very much wish that you could continue eating, but that's just not gonna happen. So, oh, okay. Felicia has decided that she should be in the way here. It's so nice that you're trying to help us. Really, really, really appreciate that, but... <sighs> Baby needs its diaper change and you don't seem to be doing that. Flo, what are you doing? There. Okay, please change this diaper. Great. Okay. Now come back down here. Eat your food. So she like really, really wants to read a book. She's having like zero fun. But we have to make a cake because we have to age people up. I cannot have her be a baby anymore. So we're gonna make our first cake. Make it for Joe. It's gonna be great, but technically it's almost birthday too. Joe, you need some fun. Here, why don't you read something? That'll be fun. Everyone's just like really mostly taking care of themselves. I mean that really works out to be honest oh joe needs to take care of his cow after you get some fun oh guys it's so much going on where did flo go you're supposed to be making a cake Ugh, it's not gonna help if you guys don't do the things that i tell you to do when to do them here bake a cake please all right ethel what is this did someone play a prank on the toilet is ethel about to get pranked Oh. Yep. Oh, and she's covered. <laughs> Did Ethan play a prank on the toilet? I think so. I think he did. All right. Josephine, honey, you need to go to the bathroom. Don't go to bed yet. After you go to the bathroom, you play, uh, you practice the piano. Ethel's trying to go to bed too, but we're not gonna do that. Joseph, you need to repair the toilet because that's your job, sir. And the cake's done. Okay, great. Put some candles on this thing here. Because we got a birthday to celebrate. We got two birthdays to celebrate. 
It's very exciting. Where's Gertrude going? Oh, she's gonna go play with her bear. Totally cool. Oh, Ethel. I did not tell you to do that. You still need to do your homework, little missy. I told you to do it before and you didn't. And the baby's crying. All right, I say we age up Alma first. That's what we're gonna do. Joe, go here. Actually, you can go to the bathroom real quick while Flo takes care of this and Flo's about to pee herself. Four kids is way too many. It's way, 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 way too many. Nah. That's the way I sound. Like, what the crap is happening here? Oh boy. Joe, we're so excited about your birthday though. Yeah. All right, you go to the bathroom too. Go on, I know your pregnant self is like, this is too much for me. Josephine's doing that. You're, oh, finished your homework. I'm so happy for you. Why don't you practice your violin? Joe, come here and have a sit on this bed right here because we are going to age up little Alma. Okay, this is so, so, so exciting, guys. Alma's gonna be a little taller, thankfully, right before. Oh, and the toilet upstairs is broken. What is happening? Here we go. Joe does not care at all. <laughs> Flo's like, yes, all right. Here we go, we're gonna randomize the trait and see what type of little toddler this girl's gonna be. We've had a fussy one, we've had an angelic one, and we've had an inquisitive one, so we'll see. Another inquisitive little baby. That works. And we've got our second little brunette baby. Yay! Okay, repair that. And then we're gonna go down, after Joe is done, we'll go down and celebrate Joe's birthday, and then we'll get this little girl switched into some Decades Challenge appropriate stuff. Just gonna let them continue to play. All right. Joe! Come down here. Go here. Go here. We'll at least have these two celebrating Joe's birthday. Ugh. Seriously? Ugh. The nerve of this woman to come on Joe's birthday Alicia, Joe would never do it. Joe's too nice, but don't get Flo down here again. You hear me? Don't get Flo down here again. Yeah, she's at the door. Oh my gosh. All right, let's just, let's, let's enjoy this. Here we go, Joe. Happy birthday, Joe. Yay. She said that's exciting and then left. Oh, here we go. Joseph is aged up. Adulthood, fulfilling dreams, planning for retirement, and midlife crises await. The perfect time to start wrapping up those lifelong goals. Great. Joe has aged up into a distinguished adult. It's very exciting. And let's go ahead and have a cake. You call everyone to the cake. So Ugh. <sighs> Come up here and discipline this little girl. Strict. Yell out for making a mess. You can't do that. You cannot make a mess. It's a bad girl. All right, Ethel's like, I'm getting cake. Why don't you go get cake too? Gertrude's good. She's like sleeping. Like, I'm good. I'm just gonna. Yeah, it's a bad little girl, Alma. She's like, what? I didn't do nothing. Grab a serving for Alma, because I know she's hungry. Starving, in fact. Joseph better not be out talking to Alicia. I'm gonna lose my mind. <sighs> All right, Joseph, you can go ahead and go to bed. Ethel, you can go ahead and go to bed. That's not your bed. <laughs> Ethel, you can go ahead and go to bed. Josephine, after you're done eating, you can go ahead and go to bed. And I'll just be Flo and little Alma, who's not decades appropriate yet. She will be. Talk to this little girl. Get to know her. What kind of uh, things do you like, little baby? She could have celebrated Joe and Alma's birthdays a little differently, but that did not happen. All right, put Alma down here. And then we have got to plan some outfits. It's gonna be so much fun. We have got to get little Alma into some Decades Challenge appropriate attire. How much time do we have the other baby? We are not in our third trimester yet, so that's good. <laughs> 
we need a little time. We got two toddlers running around, two children. At least they're, they go to school every day. It seems like they come home so quick and Flo gets zero things done. All right. She's like, I really have to go to bed. No, honey. No, no. Can't do anything because we got stuff to do. Always. Always, always, always. There's too it's many sims going on here. All right. Got quite the household going here, guys. We need, <laughs> this is not intended. We need a boy really bad. Okay, so first we gotta switch your little hairs. I love that you have brown hair like your mama. Let's do something maybe like this. Let's go ahead and leave that real quick. And then we can do a little pink one. Kinda like this one. Something like that for our little brunette girl. And then little brown shoes. Perfect. Adorable. All right, let's add one more outfit for you. Put you in one of these. Do another reddish pink one. Cute, love it. Okay, let's do this one. There you go. Put little stockings on and then brown shoes again. I love it. She's so pretty. Okay. And then sleep, of course, we'll probably do just the same that we've been doing, but we're gonna put you in green. Just like Sister Josephine was. And then a little party dress. Let's do this one. We'll just do all one color. Do that one. Cute. Okay, and put her in these little shoesies. Perfect. Maybe. These? Yeah, do those. Okay. And then swimsuit. We really need you fully covered as much as you can. So we'll do the same as your sisters. And then hot weather. If we ever get any hot weather at all here. <laughs> Doubting it. It's been cold and rainy most of the time, but let's do just this one. No hat. There we go. No rainbow shoes. Let's do these and we'll do black. Cute. All right. And then winter wear. Let's put you in this one. Love it. Some boots. Yeah. Okay. And some stockings. Great, guys, we got little Alma, little brunette cutie pie, another inquisitive little bean. Great, okay, that's done. Now we need to put the other twin bed that's in Gertrude's room into storage. All right, so we can put her to bed because she is angry, really, really angry. Place an inventory. And then let's just take a copy of this, put it right there. Two little green beds, love it. I feel like maybe we should look at some toys though, cause she doesn't have her own toy like the other girls do. I'd really like to get her something. How about a kitty? Have a little kitty toy? Love that, okay, great. Come over here and put this little baby to sleep. Got the toddler's room and the little girl's room. This is great. Oh, we have to do laundry. <sighs> yeah, all the clothes are gonna be on the floor. That will be fine. Guys, look at our family. Look at them. So cute. 2.20 in the morning, she's still awake. This is great. She's like, okay, mommy, I love you. There we go, sleepy night night. Groovy, please everyone stay asleep. That would be great. All right, everybody. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here, but don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and join me next time for episode 19 of Journey to 2020, A Sims Decades Challenge. Thanks guys. Have a great week.